Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. 10 Facts About the Megalodon in One Video Millions of years ago, before the first of our ancestors roamed the Earth, this planet was the ultimate showground. There were colossal predators both on land and in water that had a ravenous appetite for anything that moved, and they devoured their prehistoric prey in large numbers. The carnage was unlike anything witnessed before. Today, however, it seems like Mother Nature just doesn't have the same verve and energy to create giant predators as she did in eons past. All we're now left with are fossils of incredible monsters that truly dwarf the predators of our time. One particular monster belonging to the seas and a true prehistoric nightmare was Megalodon, Considered the largest shark species ever discovered in the marine fossil records, Megalodon was, without a doubt, the most dominant creature to roam the oceans. Gradually, this ancient creature has become a cult sensation thanks to movies like Deep Blue Sea and The May. And to put into perspective just how massive Megalodon was, imagine merging four great white sharks together. Megalodon even outsized prehistoric marine reptiles of the Mesozoic era, like the Mosasaurus, Kronosaurus, and Leoplorodon, which we will discuss later in the video. So, without further ado, let's take a look at 10 of the most fascinating facts about the largest sea predator that ever lived. Number 10. Grew up to 60 feet long At the height of its powers, Megalodon was truly a monster. Unfortunately, not much evidence has been found in the fossil records to determine exactly how big this behemoth was. Only a few scattered bones and fossilized teeth is what paleontologists have to work with. But why is this the case? Well, just like the sharks of today, Megalodon's bones consisted mainly of cartilage, which is much harder to fossilize than the mineral-rich, calcium-fortified bones of prehistoric terrestrial animals. Nevertheless, judging primarily from tooth size in comparison to great whites, scientists estimate that Megalodon grew from somewhere between 40 to a whopping 100 feet when measured from head to tail, with most agreeing that the average adult was about 60 feet long. They could weigh anywhere from 50 to 75 tons, with some paleontologists hypothesizing that superannuated Megalodons could be twice as big. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9. Megalodon Made a Meal Out of Whales while the thought of a great white hunting down a blue whale might sound like every paleontologist's fairy tale, even closer to science fiction, Megalodon specialized in preying on prehistoric whales of the Miocene and Pliocene epoch. Yes, they had a calorie-rich diet, befitting a predator of such monstrosity. Nothing was off the menu for these rambunctious carnivores. Everything from giant turtles, whales, squid, and dolphins were delicacies the Megalodon loved to sample. In fact, Megalodon swam in nearly all the oceans of the Miocene and was certainly a dreadful sight to behold for any marine creature at the time. Number 8. The Most Powerful Bite Force in the Animal Kingdom while the crocodile reigns supreme today as the animal with the most skull-crushing bite, the bite force of the Megalodon was simply out of this world. Heck, we shudder to think that there were prehistoric creatures who actually experienced firsthand how crippling this bite was. In fact, in 2008, a joint research team consisting of US and Australian-based scientists carried out a series of computer-generated simulations to determine just how powerful the bite force of a megalodon was. The results were shocking. While the average saltwater crocodile exerts a force of about 1.85 tons per square inch when it clamps its jaws, followed closely by the Great White at 1.8 tons, the Megalodon, on the other hand, was simulated to deliver between 10.8 to 18.2 tons. That's enough force to crush us easily, like you were crunching on a Dorito. 
and therefore crushing the skull of a prehistoric whale must have been easy for a megalodon. It even makes the bite force of a Tyrannosaurus Rex look like child play. Number 7. Megalodons had teeth the size of knives. Nicknames aren't just birthed, they are earned. So it's no surprise that Megalodon is infamously referred to as Giant Tooth. The teeth of this prehistoric nightmare were like a set of newly bought kitchen knives. Perfectly serrated, oblong-shaped teeth about 8 inches in length is what met most prey unfortunate enough to find themselves between the jaws of a megalodon. To put this into comparison, the Great White has teeth about 3 inches long, and you'd have to look as far back as the Cretaceous period to find another creature possessing such choppers, and none other than Hollywood's golden egg, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Number 6. Megalodon's closest living relative is the Great White While the Megalodon might seem like a spitting image of the Great White, they are not of the same species. Scientifically, Megalodon is called Carcharodon Megalodon, which when translated to regular English means that it belongs to the shark genus Carcharodon but of the species Megalodon. On the other hand, the Great White's scientific name is Carcharodon carcareus, belonging to the same shark genus, but of the species Carcharius. There are even paleontologists out there who claim that Megalodon and the Great White are not of the same genus and happen to arrive at their uncanny similarities through the unique process of convergent evolution, like how both birds and bats developed wings at different times. Number 5. Megalodon's Unique Hunting Style While the Great White is the closest living relative to the Megalodon, they have quite distinguishable differences. For one, their hunting techniques are miles apart, and perhaps it's because they lived in oceans that existed 12 to 2 million years apart, with different marine fauna. You see, Great Whites are well known for targeting the soft underbellies of their prey, such as those of seals and sea lions, or by targeting easy-to-bite areas like the victim's legs. On the other hand, Megalodon's unique teeth and massive bite force evolved to tear through the tough and thick cartilage of prehistoric whales, meaning that these giant sharks most likely bit off large chunks of the victim's fins. This most likely left the victim immobilized, in shock and bleeding rapidly before Megalodon lunged in for the final blow. Yeesh. Number 4. Megalodon would have probably eaten marine reptiles. As we mentioned earlier, Megalodon is the largest marine predator currently in fossil records. But why did they grow to such stunning sizes? Well, it's got everything to do with gravity. You see, ocean water is naturally buoyant meaning that the effects of gravity are much lower here than they are on land. In turn, both prey and predator could grow to mammoth sizes compared to their land contemporaries. For example, during the Mesozoic era, which is famously known for being the golden age of the reptiles, marine predators like Chronosaurus and Leoplorodon reached outstanding weights of 30 to 40 tons and could max out at about 40 to 50 feet. Put that in relation to great whites, which only weigh 3 tons, and you have a group of giants well in a class of their own. Despite Megalodon trumping these ancient reptiles, the blue whale still holds the crown as the largest animal to have ever lived. Weighing 100 tons and measuring 100 feet, no animal in the fossil record can surpass its unbelievable size. So, consider it a blessing to be sharing a time frame with the world's most magnificent giant. Number 3. Megalodon's teeth were once known as tongue stones. Sharks are well known to shed their teeth throughout their lifetime, with some recorded to shed at most a thousand before dying. Well, the Megalodon was no exception to this rule, and because it had distinctively large teeth, a large number of shed choppers have been well documented in the fossil records. So much so that one physician living in the 17th century, Nicholas Stino, legendarily quipped that the shark teeth carried by peasants of his time could easily be referred to as tongue stones. Of course, he was joking, but he inadvertently identified the stones as shark teeth, which, according to historians, makes Stino the world's first paleontologist. Isn't that weird? And now we've come to the best pick of the day. 
For decades, since the release of Steven Spielberg's classic, Jaws, we've always been fascinated with giant sharks like the Megalodon. Yes, a Megalodon could probably take down small boats with a single bite of its powerful jaws, but what about a luxury cruise ship? Well, we highly doubt it. For one, the average cruise ship is about 154 feet, nearly three times the length of a 60-foot Megalodon. Secondly, most cruise ships have a gross tonnage of about 40,000 to 100,000 tons, meaning that a 70-ton Megalodon would probably not do enough damage to sink it. Sorry folks, this picture right here, though cool, probably wouldn't happen even if the Megalodon existed today. Number 2. Megalodon Conquered the World Megalodon was a unique predator to say the least. Unlike his predecessors, the marine reptiles of the Mesozoic, or his successors, modern sharks like the Great White, Megalodon managed to live a footprint in every ocean in the world. You can call these creatures the Columbus of the prehistoric world. In fact, they loved to terrorize whales in warm ocean waters, which at the time were widespread. Surprisingly, the only thing that hindered these predators from thriving in inland rivers and lakes was their gigantic size, which would have been a massive disadvantage in shallow waters. At the height of its power, the Megalodon truly had dominion over the seas and terrorized defenseless marine animals for millions of years. Number 1. It's still unclear why they went extinct. Megalodon had everything an apex predator required in its arsenal. Massive serrated teeth to tear its prey, an unparalleled bite force, physically imposing size, quick speed, efficient hunting, the list could go on and on. And despite all this, the Megalodon no longer swims in our oceans today, going extinct about 2 million years ago. Nature is truly a cruel mistress. So what led to its unfortunate demise? Based on the fossil records, there are a number of theories paleontologists have put in place to justify its extinction. For one, they believe that Megalodon was the unfortunate victim of rapid climate change. During the end of the Miocene epoch, the oceans gradually became colder, greatly minimizing the range of the Megalodon who preferred warm waters. At the time, the Earth was entering one of the longest ice ages, the commencement of the Pleistocene Epoch. Another well-backed theory is that the gradual disappearance of giant prehistoric whales meant that the Megalodon lost out on its biggest prey, with large numbers of Megalodon gradually starving to death. And finally, it was believed that Megalodon was outcompeted by other marine predators, such as Leviathan Melvilli, a carnivorous whale that was almost the size of Megalodon and just as efficient in hunting. Nevertheless, there are some skeptics who still believe that the Megalodon swims in the largely undiscovered deep seas of the world. While it's most likely uncertain, we can't rule anything out yet. What we do admit is that the Megalodon had one hell of an amazing run as the apex predator of the oceans. With that being said, what impressive fact about the Megalodon surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want more videos that would probably still exist until the end of time? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, thanks for watching.